Hey everybody, I'm super excited today to share with you the recipe of strawberry shortcake. Now, I fell in love with this cake when I used to live in Japan. It is so beautiful and so delicious. And today we are going to see how you can easily make it at home. I start the process by making the meringue first. So for that, I'm taking seven egg whites in my bowl and beating at a medium speed. Now I'm going to add about quarter cup of granulated sugar into these egg whites and I'll let it whip for another 5 to 7 minutes. So after beating for 5 to 7 minutes, your meringue is going to look like that. When you pull it up, it should be able to hold its shape. Now I'll prepare rest of the batter. So first I'm going to take 7 egg yolks, mix them a little bit. And next I'm going to add half a cup of oil. Again, use a whisk and mix them into the egg yolks. Now I'm adding room temperature milk, half a cup. And then I'm going to add one and one quarter cup of granulated sugar. Now at this time, you'll also add vanilla extract. And I forgot to capture the video of that. Now next is going to be the dry ingredients. This is two cup of cake flour, followed by two teaspoons of baking powder and a pinch of salt. Now after you sift these ingredients in, it's important not to over mix the batter. So as soon as all of these are combined together, just stop mixing. Now is the last step that is mixing meringue in rest of the batter. This has to be done in two to three batches and very gently so the egg whites are not deflated. Now it's time to put this in the oven. So I am using the three 8 inch cake pans, greasing the bottom with butter and putting the parchment paper and dividing my batter equally into these pans. Now in the oven for 30 minutes at 325 degree Fahrenheit. Now in the meantime, I'm going to get the frosting ready. So this is 500 ml or one pound of heavy whipping cream. Now have an ice pack handy, especially on a hot day. This is going to help the whipped cream whip much faster. You can add your vanilla extract at any time during the process, but remember to add the sugar only when the cream starts to thicken up. So you can add anywhere between quarter cup to half a cup of sugar here. Half a cup is going to make it a little extra sweeter and quarter cup will be very low sweet. Now from here you have to wash because heavy cream whips really fast. So I'm going to do it in 30 second bursts at a time and then check if it's done. So now I'll transfer this to a piping bag and put it in the refrigerator. So my cakes were also done. So now I'm going to clean up the cakes and then get them ready to assemble. Now to clean up the cake, I'm gently scraping off the brown layer on the top and the bottom and the sides of the cake. Now before we assemble, the last step is to have your strawberries ready. So I have medium sized strawberries cut into half and I also have one cup of chopped strawberries for the filling. Now to assemble the cake, I'm going to put the first layer at the bottom and then I'm going to wrap the acetate paper around it. Now acetate paper is used for cake decorating. It does not stick to the food and it keeps your cake together and makes the decorating a breeze. Now acetate paper can be easily found on Amazon. So the one I'm using is about 4 inches in height. Now I'm going to put the frosting up to the height of the strawberries. Now I had mixed the chopped strawberries and heavy cream together and that's what I'm filling in the center. You don't really have to mix them, you can keep them separate as well and then have your frosting in first and then sprinkle some strawberries on top.
now the height of this acid paper is a very good guide for how much frosting i need on the top of the cake i'll share the link to this specific acid paper in the description So on the top I'm making a wreath design for that I have cut the strawberries in half and I have left the leaves on and I'm trying to place them in a different random directions which is going to add to the look. All right, now my favorite time, the taste testing. So I'm going to remove the acetate paper. And if you notice, the heavy cream has flown onto the strawberries a little bit, and this can be easily cleaned up using a paper towel. 